So we hear the new Apple Watch is rated IPX7, which means it's basically waterproof. But we wanted to put it to the test. What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, we're going to be putting Apple Watch to the test in water. So we've heard and even seen some YouTube videos proving that the new Apple Watch is waterproof. Again, it's rated IPX7, which means it can stay underwater for 30 minutes in just about three feet of water. So we decided to actually put it to the test and see for ourselves if it is, in fact, waterproof. Let's check it out. So right here we have the 42 millimeter uh, silver aluminum Apple Watch Sport Edition with the blue uh, floor elastomer band, but so as you can see the Apple watch is fully working and um, you know Tim Cook said he goes in the shower with his Apple watch So I don't think there's gonna be anything wrong with this, but let's give it a shot You know, of course it is a uh, splash proof so a little bit of water shouldn't hurt it, right? Should work fine, um, but you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of water All right. You know, I, Tim Cook said you could wash your hands with it. He said he showers with it, so there's no problem. And as you can see, Apple Watch is working still perfectly fine. Obviously, it's a capacitive touchscreen, so when it's underwater, that's not going to be the case. It's not going to work as easily. Um, but when you do have water off of it, I mean, it clearly is still working perfectly fine. So, you just run it under a couple times. Things look good so far. Very nice. So, it's definitely splash proof and splash resistant. There's no issues there. And when we shut the water off and take a closer look at it, let the screen dry and all, turn it on. Apple Watch is definitely still working. There's definitely no flaws there. So we're all good. Dry it off and uh, yeah, we will be set to go. So that was pretty cool. Apple Watch is definitely splash proof. If you run it underwater, you're going to be fine. So washing hands, taking a shower, those are most of the instances. But what about if you submerge it underwater for an extended period of time? IPX7 does mean at most three feet. We got a sink here that's less than a foot, so we'll give that a shot. Okay, so off camera, I filled the sink a little bit with water. As you can see, that's definitely filled. There is no tricks playing here. It's definitely filled. Uh, but Apple Watch, I hate to do this to you. Oh my. Yep, she's in there good. All right, so that's definitely working under there. Obviously, the touch screen is non-functional, but the digital crown is still working perfectly. If I press in the side button, I can access the friend still, which is nice. So yeah, this guy is without a doubt waterproof, for sure, as we can see. Um, and that's nice to know. And like they said, 30 minutes underwater uh, at the most. Um, you don't want to go more than that because you don't want to ruin the device, but so far so good. Clearly uh, it's okay. And it's working. Very nice. So Apple Watch is definitely waterproof. So we've dried off Apple Watch completely, and again, as you can see, it's working good. Perfectly fine, no flaws, everything is accessible. Um, the digital crown and all the buttons, the side button for contacts and Apple Pay, everything so far so good is working. The sensor on the back can definitely tell um, when it's off or on because I do have a passcode. Um, so there's definitely no flaws there. So uh, we can definitely take away from this video um, that Apple Watch is definitely splash proof and uh, quite a bit waterproof. You know, it's not something you want to go uh, swimming in the ocean with, especially for an extended period of time. But if you're taking a shower or washing your hands, um, clearly water is not going to be an issue with the Apple Watch and that's really nice to know um, because you know when you're buying an expensive product you don't want to get it ruined it's nice to have that added protection so there you guys go that is the waterproof test of the Apple Watch if you guys like this video please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts of course rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below and I'll see you guys in the next video